And how do crystal sticks help with the two hemispheres of the brain? Well, if you mean how does crystal sticks help integrate the left side and the right side, uh, that would really depend on the extent of play. If you take it as a mild diversion for your attention and you play with it and keep those motions in front of you straight on, then you're not going to have the kind of benefit that you would get were you to follow a program of development with the crystal stick, uh, crystal sticks. So, for example, you have an activity that requires a left-right response. If you take that left-right response and realize that any given movement that you make is a movement that is uh, wired into the brain. Okay, so in order to get it wired into the brain, you have to grow the new uh, neurological connections in the brain. It has to web out. Now, consider that web. That web is reflected in your capacity to move your hands in various ways with certain controls, being able to balance things in your hand in a successful way. Those potential motions are hardwired into the brain. Now, if you follow a program with crystal sticks, that takes this establishment of a hardwire kind of program or this neurological web work that grows from learning new things, and it creates a web work that incorporates a mental focus, it incorporates an emotional uh, exuberance, an emotional discharge, and an emotional involvement along with a physicalness that develops the body. And these elements combine to create a basic framework or a basic hardware upon which other things can uh, stand. So if I take this left-right, left-right activity and I spread it around my body, and I'm going to stretch around and show you what I'm talking about. If I'm establishing a framework that goes in all directions around my body, and overlaps with controlled motions and controlled actions and reactions, then what I've got is I've set up motor skill and motor control in all of these directions. And that motor skill and motor control is directly connected to the emotions that push it as well as the mental processes it took to achieve it. If you do this, you will have achieved an integration between left and right, you will have achieved an integration that is emotionally charged because you have to get into it to do it, and the activity can go up in excitation so that not only have you claimed the area around your body, but that excitation is a left-right, 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 left-right process. It's somewhat analogous to this shifting focus between the left side and the right side and the left side and the right side like that. Now, if you understand what I'm doing here, that is a figure eight motion, which incorporates the wholeness on the one side with the wholeness on the other. And emotionally, what takes place is that you as an individual find yourself balancing between the hemispheres. We've all heard of the left brain egghead who can only think of A plus B equals C. Well, you could take a left-brained egghead, such as I was in my previous times, and left-right, left-right, get you into the left brain, into the right brain, into the left brain, into the right brain, alternately. And then, of course, program-wise, spreading that activity around the body, it means that this process of achieving balance hemispherically is a byproduct of the action and the activity. If we continue with that regimen, more things take place because fundamentally you're getting this integration, but then we want to build on it. We want to develop with it. In a program with crystal sticks, we have a way that you put both hands together requiring action to take place simultaneously. And what this does, of course, is creates another layer on top of the previous left-right layer where you've now integrated action between the two hemispheres and forcing a commonality to take place developmentally. And if you take that commonality, spread that around the body as I did with claiming that space around the body earlier with that left hand, right hand, then this new layer is going to be a layer of full cooperation and full mental focus as well as physical cooperation between the left and right sides and the left and right hemispheres. Further layers can be developed if you split the brain up 
doing two actions at the same time, two batons at once, doubles as we call it. And you take those two simultaneous actions, having each hemisphere have not only independence in the sense of what it takes to make that action take place, but also it has to integrate those actions with what's taking place on the other hand so that they don't conflict. So what happens in play is that you learn how to make simultaneous motions. You make motions that come in and out of sync or syncopation as it would be. If you're doing two at once and you add another layer around the body, then you've taken this first layer of left, right, left, right, second layer of both hands together, and then finally the third layer of both hands at the same time, and you have established a and developed a thorough mainframe or a thorough neurological network upon which many, many other activities can ride and develop from. Uh, because breathing is involved, chest expansion takes place. Because a twisting of the body is involved, stress release takes place, such as wringing out the muscles to get them to release that stress. Uh, developmentally, the body is toned. 